Hood Boy Radio. You love my music. DJ Hood. I know you love my music. 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 Radio show. DJ Hood, I know you love my music. I'm live in here for episode three with my man, Killer Man. See you, honey. See you, honey. Killer, can you give us a little introduction, man? Let the world know who Killer Man is. Yeah, I man, it's the kid, Killer, you know, coming live from East End, America. Summer Springs, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised. Real name is Sherrod Timmons, man. Go at me on Facebook, all that. Hey, that's what's up, man. It's a pleasure to have you in here with us as a uh, young artist out of SST, you know what I'm saying, grinding in this 903 music scene. Uh, can you give me a little background on your uh, your music career so far? Yeah, man. Said, uh, I've been doing music for a little minute now. You know, I started when I was young, but I ain't really take it too serious, you know. But uh, this past year, I've been taking it serious. You know, I got a mixtape dropping on my birthday, matter of fact, you know. Uh, Next month, September 20th, the official release date. You know, I had uh, Benson, I was gonna drop it sometime this past summer, but I, you know, I, I ain't know it was, you know, it's, it's levels to this, you know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it, man. And uh, could you give me a, a a story about like your first experience being in the booth? Yeah, I mean, uh, my first time getting in the booth, you know, I was, I was raised around music, you know what I'm saying? I raised my boy, uh, boy no, you know, up under, the young, dirty, you know, crook all in, you know what I mean? So shit, I got in the booth and I was like seven, eight, me and my little sister got in there and dropped a little track called Boy and I'm Banging. Yeah. You know, so shit, since I'm about to sell my, you know, that was my first time getting the yo. Okay. And uh, from that experience of uh, getting in the yo at such a young age, did that uh, kind of lead to kind of where you at now for us being back in the game and really like taking it serious? I mean, kind of in a way, you know, um, I was in rap, you know, with my boy Tune at the same time, too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tune that kept me real influenced with music, you know what I mean? I remember also Splash, you know what I mean? I remember me, Splash, Tune, we used to be in the laundry mat with a little boom box recorded. That's when we had the tape players, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Recording, beating off the, watching the drive, making beats, spitting freestyles, you know what I'm saying? But I think I always thought sports was going to be the way out, so I ain't never really just paid too much you know, attention to music. You know uh, what that's mean? what's up, man. And uh, when it come to, like, What's your driving force? Like, you know, when you get ready to put some stuff together, like, what's your motivation? Man, my kids. My kids, my motivation. I started having kids when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had my career kid when I was 15. Yeah. So, shit, my kids, my biggest motivation, you know what I'm saying? They push me to go that much harder, you know? You know what I'm saying? And kudos to somebody that's starting at a young age and then still being in their kid's life and doing yeah. something positive, you know what I'm saying? Being a great role model. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. In uh, relation to like some some stuff that uh you hear lately, like when it come to music, like what's really moving? What's what killer playing when he, you know, what I'm saying, just vibing out. I mean, right now my plan is, you know, to be honest, I ain't even see me going this far with it. So, me personally, you know, I feel like I got a lot accomplished. You know what I mean? So yeah, if my career was in here right now. I feel like I'm cool. You know, so I can ride around it to my own music. Yeah. Sit the crib, to my own music, chill my home, is to my own music, you know what I mean? So I got a lot, of, did a few shows, you know, so I really feel like with all this music, I got a lot accomplished, you know what I mean? So I know I still got a lot more to accomplish, you know what I mean? I'm still striving, you know what I mean? But as far as now, you know, I'm, my biggest focus is pushing this mixtape out. Like, so I've been putting that on hold for a long time, under the streets waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right now, my biggest focus is getting this mixtape out, you know, like I say, the official date is September 26th, year dropping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that'll get a world little preview, you know what I mean? Excuse me, preview where I'm coming from, you know. What What's the uh, the meaning of the title of the mixtape, Six Shit? Can you give people some insight into that? Yeah, man, Six Shit. I see a lot of people be on Facebook saying, you know, 600, Six Shit, all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. They come back down to 600, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the block I'm from over here on, on Portman Street, you know what I'm saying, on this side of the tracks. 600 is, you know, where me, Lil Joe, Lil Day, Long Lil Lil Day, you know what I'm saying? We all groom right there on Fuller, right. put me right there, down there, you know what I'm saying, on, on the end down there, through Ava Alley in the yeah. 600, you know what I'm saying? So six shit is really what we over here doing, you know what I'm saying? Cause really out here in these streets doing, you know, doing the thing we talking about in our music. So that's six shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm letting the world know what six shit is, you know? Already, man, and since we talking about six shit, and since we talking about Putman and so on, so we gonna get into your first track, you know what I'm saying? That that you got the visual too. We're gonna play that thug life. See so we're gonna be 
right back with y'all after this break. We're going to get into that thug life, killer man. See you Hey, cuz. What? You got the popcorn? For what? Three's up on, man. For real? Right now, three's up TV. Right now? Get the popcorn. Okay. Shout out Quizio for the motherfucking beat, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out Lil Snoop, man. Free Lil Duke, man. Free Socha. Free Collide, man. Free Dougie. Realize sick shit, man. I swear. I swear. How we living, man? It's a true story. Yeah. Tired, bitch, I'm wide up off the juice On the pee with my niggas and we getting loose I call the shots and my niggas go and hit the lick We with the shit, dope man, where them bricks kill a badass bitch I ain't scared of now, click, I'ma ride for the six Trappin', I'm trappin', I'm trappin', I'm getting the money These niggas be lame, these niggas be worthy, these niggas be funny Bustin' the blocks, back in the rock, fillin' the mid Dope in the fridge, this is what it is, rest of his kids Fuck it and we gon' take something. I know some niggas out there great, they gon' shake something. Yeah, the streets loving the drugs. Shout out to my plug, she keep me with yeah. bugs. I'm living thug life, trapping off the peak. All my niggas bout it, ready to catch a felony. We got real guns and we really in the streets. We some hood stars, we just know who we be. I'm screaming thug life, trapping off the peak. All my niggas bout it, ready to catch a felony. We got real guns and we really get the streets. We some hood stars, we just know who we be. Trapping all day, nigga. Bitch, I'm really thug in the streets, man. Six shit live in the slums, nigga, that's what we be. See, my daddy was a G, nigga, so this shit a part of me, nigga. Hustling ass nigga, what fuck you mean I ought to be, nigga? Six shit. Six shit. Yeah. Yeah. And we back. We back from the break, man. Yeah. That was Thug Life. Thug Killer. Life, Killer man in here. SST 903. Uh, that was your first visual, man. Can you give me some insight into shooting your first visual and, and how it feel to, you know, be making progress in something you taking so serious? Man, say that was my first video and say I feel like I feel successful. Yeah. I feel very successful, man. You know, um, it was a few scenes, you know, that wasn't put into the video due to me still being on probation and such things like that, you okay. know. But when I get out of probation, it's going down. Yeah. I'm going to show the streets what a little stuff spraying through, you know what I mean? Okay. A little bit of that there. But as far as that being my first visual, you know, I feel like um, my next one is going to be even, even more crazy, you know. Um, matter of fact, I plan on dropping that sometime within uh, coming up in the next few months. Okay. Uh, back at it. But as far as that being my first visual, man, like I say, I've, I've always been in other people's videos, you know, so yeah. I always kind of Hey, put the camera on me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But with this being my actual video, man, I feel yeah. like say, I'm ready to hey, I'm, keep I'm, making I'm it. I'm really rocking with it, man. And uh, you were speaking to being on probation and stuff. So yeah. is this something 
insight you can give anybody that's probably in a similar situation or on the borderline to being in that situation, uh, what not to do type of situation? Yeah, walk straight. Yeah, walk straight. You know what I'm saying? Cause hey, it's bad out here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it, you ain't trying to go that route. Yeah. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't worth it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she just walk light. So I can tell them walk light. Hey, and whatever you do, she do that shit 100. Already. Right. That's what's up, bro. And uh, what's some people in the industry right now that you really rocking with that you may look at as, as some influence or somebody you one day like to work with? Shit, I fuck with, uh, I mean, my favorite rapper, BG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Free BG. Baby yeah. Gangster, you know what I'm saying? BG, so that's my favorite rapper, so... I would love to do some music with BG, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see uh I see his son, uh TI uh TI something like that out there in uh, New Orleans doing this thing, you know. So I would like to do some shit with BG. Um if not BG, I'm, I'm gonna go with Future. Uh, yeah. I do a lot of future, you know, I fuck with Future. Um if not Future, I say Boosie, you know, I fuck yeah. with Boosie. Um maybe Lil Webby, you know, Tri the whole the whole Trill fan, man. Long Lil Fat, I would man, I started off with Trill fan, listen to Lil Fat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lil Fat my age, so I really relate to the dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I always wanted. To, I always said I want to do a track with Lil Fat, but I mean, long live Fat, you know. Yeah. Um, I say, um, and and speaking of Lil zero. Fat, for as like tragedy to strike down, you know what I'm saying, young up and coming talents. Could you give me some insight into what your feelings of that is, and maybe do you think you have a reason why that keeps kind of happening? Um, the young and thugging. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was just young and thuggy, you know what I mean. Um, the game, man, the game just ain't the same, you know what I mean. The game done changed a lot. The game done changed up a whole whole lot. I'm a '90s baby, you know what I'm saying. I'm an early '90s baby, so I kind of caught that that last little old bit of that drip to where I feel still feel a little bit of original old school type shit, you know what I mean. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I just say the game changed, man. So yeah. it's, again, you know, you gonna do that. Do that all the way 100, you know what I'm saying? Be ready for the consequence, because there's consequences behind every action, you know what I'm saying? And see, sometimes you may get the bitter end of the stick, but, you know, you got to keep rolling with the punch. So, <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, I, man, I just vibe people, don't just, yeah. whatever you do, just do it 100, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. And uh, as far as some shows and stuff you've been doing, I've been seeing, uh, you know what I'm saying, a lot of uh, video clips of you doing shows, and I'm seeing a lot of posts. Can you give me uh, some information on some of the shows you've done and some that might be coming up? Yeah, man, I um, I did a show in, um, I, did, I did a few shows out in Marshall, Texas, man. Shout out to Marshall, Texas, man. Okay. Shout out to DJ Lowe, shout out to Carlos, man. Shout out to uh, T-Money, Tyson, uh, shout out to Stacky Chains. Uh, PTZ, shout out to the whole East Texas, man, out that way, you know, so they yeah. doing their thing out there, uh, Willie Jigga Lock out there in Shreveport, all of them, man, um, I did like three or four shows out there in Marshall, you know, with a little yeah. called Who Got Flow, that was my first little show, you know what I'm saying, I did a show out there in Marshall first before I even did one of my own neighborhood type yeah. shit, you know what I mean, so it was like, to me, that shit was dope, like, yeah. to my first time, I killed it, like, you, you, I've been doing it, you know yeah. what I mean, they showed me a lot of love, so they kept welcoming me back, you know what I mean, and um, I always start with my roots, you know, a lot of people say, "Why don't you get that?" Now I'm gonna start out here in East Texas. I can't, makes sense. I can't go to the city if I ain't known out here in my own neck of the woods. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out here really linking up the whole East Texas. You know what I'm saying? So like I, said, I did a few shows out in Marshall. Then I had a uh, open up for uh, B Will and Badass Entertainment out there in Marshall, man. Uh, I believe that was not that was not too long ago, man. But I had opened up for B Will and shit out there in Marshall, man. Uh, me and my boy Daisy, man, 600. We yeah. did a show out there in Onyx, man. Club Onyx, the strip club. Yeah. You know we had. All on the throwing ass, you know what I'm saying? All that's going down, yeah. you know. Um, I did a few shows here in my hometown here recently. I've been throwing a few gigs, a few parties, you know what I'm saying? Here in uh, the past few summer, you know, me, uh, my young boys, Cali Texas, man, my little cousins, you know. So, shit, um, and here coming up, like I said, I got my little sister's birthday badge coming up, man, at the end, uh, end of this month in August. Then, she, like I said, my birthday next month in September, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all be looking out for the, the mixtape release party, you know what I'm saying? I'm throwing Killer Man birthday badge slash. Six, uh, six shit release party, you know what I'm saying? So that all that shit going down next month for sure. Hey, for sure, man, that sound dope. Looking forward yeah. to it. And uh, when it come to uh, what what's the challenges of being an East Texas artist, you know, and having to like branch out and try to touch the Dallas market? Um, to me, I feel like a lot of people feel like country boy is slow. Yeah, they feel like we oh, slow out here in East Texas. You know what I'm saying? Like from Everything we do, you know what I'm saying? Everything we feel like we slow, you know what I mean? And um I don't know, people just don't I feel like 
really too many big artists ain't made it out of Dallas. Like mainstream, this That's main true. industry artists ain't never made it out of Dallas. Therefore, they really can't expect for them, for us to make it out of East Texas. You know what I'm saying? Because the closest city we got is Dallas. You know what I mean? But, That's a very good point. But but out here in East Texas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, we got so many different varieties of raps. Man, we got all kind of different different langos, all that. Everything you think of, I mean, we got all of that here in East Texas. That's to where you would think that shit coming from a city. You know what I'm saying? So all it's going to take is maybe a few people from East Texas to, to get out there and do their thing to get the rest of us, you know what I'm saying, out here looked upon. You know what I'm saying? We got headquarters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to them boys out there, you know, Dumb, yeah. voting them out there in uh, Mount Pleasant. You know what I'm saying? I know you got uh, Maniac out here in uh, Mount Vernon. He doing this little thing, you know, shout out to uh, Maniac. You got some old boys out there in uh, Henderson, uh, I can't think of a boy's name. He did some shit with Kevin Gates, though, you know. Yeah. I had, uh, I think KT or some shit like that, you know. You got a, peop- a few people from uh, Marshall. They really linked up with them boys from the boot, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys out there in the boot, too. Uh, Booja, Texas. They hit, uh, trying to get me to some shit out there in Shreveport, getting some shows yeah. out there coming up, too, uh, pretty soon. You know, I linked up with some dudes out there. I met them in uh, Marshall and shit, so, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, linking up with them boys out there. You know, like I say, it's lots of different uh, exposures being, you know, exposed out here, you know, with different people meeting. So I guess it's only going to take a few people to get out there and to get East Texas really looked upon, you know. Okay, man, that's a good spot to leave off right now for break number two. We finna get in the killer man around her. Yeah. Yeah, man. Killer man. Coming live from East End America. Where it get wicked, 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 wicked. Cold hearted like December. I wear my feelings on my sleeves. Hard times I remember. That's why I think the way I think. I know that I'm a sinner. Breadwinner in the making. Lord forgive me, I'm impatient. Grinding hard, trying to make it. Taking back to the basics. No more breaking in the vacancy. Trapping in the cold, shaking. Bottles popping, getting wasted. Smoking blunts, getting faded. Look how far we really made it. Segregated, never hated. Behind the rumors they created. I know they devastated. Wondering how that nigga. Made it. Caught them all by surprise. I'm a gangster till I die. Told my mama not to cry. Look the judge in his eyes. Seen the devil in the sky. Railroad in the spot. The people talking, acting like they really know me. Like they know me. You know I'm watching like a soldier. Like a soldier. For the cow, let my motherfucking host in my house. Dude. Put his face on the post. On the post. My time coming, I can feel it getting close. Getting close. That's the end of exposure. I leave these rats and these snakes for the vultures. It's crazy how they trying to railroad the kid. Playing with my life, trying to give a nigga a bid. Thinking about my life and all the crazy shit that I did. All the shit that I done. Gotta be from where I'm from to understand. Consequences really made a nigga a man. For the future I plan, the K come with a stand. You gotta feel what I'm saying. Turn rags into riches. Niggas change like bitches. I think a lot of niggas snitches. Really asking for the stitches. Bullet hole in his kidneys. Have him singing like he Whitney. Kill him all, leave not a witness. Prosecutors some bitches. This town's so fucking wicked. Railroad in this phone. The people talking, acting like they really know me. Like they know me. You know I'm marching like a soldier. Like a soldier. For the cow, let my motherfucking host in my house. Dude. Put his face on the post. On the post. My time coming, I can feel it getting closer. Getting closer. That's the end of exposure. I leave these rats and these snakes for the vultures. That's the end of exposure. For right now, anyways, you did. Kill a man. 600 people out there. You know where I stand. Chill. <laughs> Young people, make smart decisions, man. Cause around here in East End America, one mistake could fuck up your whole life. I swear. You don't wanna go that route. <laughs> you don't wanna go see that pen. Believe me. I know. <laughs> For real, when you up, it's never good as it seems. <laughs> and when you down, you feel like you'll never be up again. But kick your head up, no matter what. Believe in Christ. You can do all things through Him who strengthens you. I promise, God real. <laughs> and I believe, I'm a strong believer. All you gotta do is believe. Close your eyes and dream. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Bow. Railroad in this road, man. The people talking, acting like they really know me. Like they know me. You know I'm watching like a soldier. Like a soldier. For the cow in my motherfucking host. In my house. Bow. Put his face on the post. On the post. My time coming, I can feel it getting closer. Getting closer. And that's the end of exposure. I leave these rats and these snakes for the boat. That was Killer Man around here. Yeah. <laughs> Killer. Uh, right here. I got to ask, man, uh, uh, just listening to the track, it, it's really referencing a lot of social issues that's going on right now. So could you, you know what I'm saying, give your shout out to the people that, you know what I'm saying, that's been lost to being railroaded and man. just locked down right now. Free my hood, man. Free East <laughs> in America. Free East End America, man. I don't yeah. even know where to start, man. I'm going to start with the OGs. Free Richard Earl, man. Free my paps, my, my pops, man. Free Black. You dig? I'm, man, free all OG, man. Free Pat, free free Mike, free all up, man. You know what I'm saying? Free the Young Gs. Free yeah. free G Sosa. Free Hoover Joe. Free Kalau, man. Free Duke. You know what I'm saying? Free Dougie. Free Lil' Land. Free Hawk. You know what I'm saying? Free uh, Alvin. Free Spike D.O. Dub. Free Kobe Blake. Free Lil' Homie. You know what I'm saying? Free Latron. You dig what I'm saying, man? Free all the guys, man. I'm talking about yeah. all the guys that's, that's locked off. You know what I'm saying? Go on that system. Man. Like, like when you was- uh, lots of more free all of them. When you was putting that track together, man, like, like, you know what I'm saying? What was you thinking about as you was putting it together? Shit, I was thinking like, damn, I'm all, I always try to miss that road and shit. I'm finna go that road. I'm finna go oh. sit that pin. <laughs> so, so during shit. the time you did the track, you was kind of going through your own legal si uh, situation itself? Yeah, man, I had uh, I had just beat another case not too long ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that. Like I say, like you say, you know, it reflects back to that song, "Railroad and Exposed Me." You know, I was facing a first degree felony. You know what I'm saying? That's out top two to ninety nine. Then they enhanced it with robbery. You know what I'm saying? So that's two to twenty. My hands was at my my life was at my hands. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Really, my freedom. I ain't got no freedom right now. I'm still on probation right now as we speak. So, I mean, that shit really took a different kind of toll on me. You know what I'm saying? I was. Really just thinking about my kids, cause like I said, shit, I ain't never had no father. So just thinking like, damn, I always told myself I ain't ever don't do my kids for that, you know what I'm saying? And shit. Yeah. I don't put myself in situations to where I'm finna fuck around have to go see that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, just swallow my pride and standing up like a soldier, shit, and I keep a 40 on me, so marching yeah. like a soldier. You know, and for the dude that put his face on the poster, my <laughs> time coming. Hey, you know. Yeah, man. And uh what you think about, like, you know, what's kind of going on right now with the country for as we having a, a rise in, uh, you know, cops, you know, for whatever reason or not, you know, taking African-Americans and minorities' lives, you know, doing traffic stops or just things getting out of hand pretty quick versus, you know, the tolerance they kind of have when it come to uh, people that look more like them for as, you know, there's not a minority. I really feel like, you know, with that, uh, all top, all, all lives matter. Yeah. I'm going to say it like that, all lives matter. But most importantly, black lives matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black lives matter. All top, you know, for for the longest, it's been this way. I'm not surprised at all by nothing I see on TV. All this police brutality, they killing us and, you know what I'm saying, killing black people and, and even the white people they kill. Yeah. I ain't surprised by none of it because it's been going on, you know what I'm saying? Since since the ancient time, you know what I'm saying? They killed Jesus. They hated on Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but back then they ain't had cameras and shit like that. So now that we got cameras and we actually seeing more shit to where it's like it's starting to awaken our people more. So yeah. I'm not really surprised by it all. But it's for like I say, that goes back down to what we were talking about earlier, you know, is for young people, the way we carry ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young black male myself. So every yeah. day I walk out the door, I got a big target on my back, you know, so I know off top I can't be out here walking or acting a, a certain kind of way out here in public or I may put myself in harm's way, yeah. so you know. In, in relation to if you have a traffic stop, you know, it's a certain way to approach Conduct the, yourself, right, yeah. right. It's a certain way to conduct yourself, you know. Not saying you gotta be the most proper person in, in the world, but you know, act like you got some sense. A, a lot of times, them cops don't, I'm not saying they, they looking for a reason to, to do what they gotta do. Yeah. So let's not give them a reason. A lot of times, you know, with our fly mask, we hire whatever we yeah. may be and get them that reason, you know, then, we blame it on them. Nah, yeah. we put ourselves, we just kept our mouth closed and, you know what I'm saying, listen first and just, you know, okay. And you know, it's, it's it more of a recourse for us than right. them if, if it get out of hand. Right, right. And if we get it from, from there on, it's, it's out of our hands. Yeah. That's on the higher power, and the higher power going to lead our whole way through that. Yeah. That's why you got to really believe and have faith in that, you know what I'm saying, and just do the right thing, you know what I'm saying. You want our good deeds always our way our bad, uh, bad deeds, you know, so 
That's what that boy's back down to. Okay, that's that's pretty dope, man. And uh, other thing I was going to ask you is, uh, you mentioned your mixtape earlier. I was going to ask how many tr- tracks you got on that CD and uh, anything you got in the works beyond that, or are you just mainly focusing on this mixtape right now? Man, um, I got, like I said, I got a six sheet dropping next month for sure, man, mm-hmm. uh, my birthday. Um, after six sheet, I got, I got a few tracks, you know, like I say, when I first started, man, I always thought like, damn. How about how everybody got all these tracks, man? Everybody got so much music. <laughs> I'm just not trying to get my third low song recorded. Everybody yeah. got so much music now. I see, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be having lots of music put back yeah. to where, you know what I'm saying, some shit that may be new to you is very old to me. Yeah. So it's like um, I got this six shit dropping next month again. As I say, you know, when after that, I got a little old EP I'm going to uh, put together so the streets won't be waiting too much longer. And then yeah. sooner or later, you know. Maybe by, um, I, I'm giving myself shit uh, next year. That six shit too gonna drop. And is that music gonna be more of a continuation of what you already kind of doing, or is it gonna kind of change vibes a little bit, or is it gonna pretty much be the same lane? Um, really, man, it, it depends on my lifestyle. You know, yeah. so I ain't got a lot to you shit. If I'm still living how I'm living right now, then yeah, it's gonna be the same kind of you know. I ain't say just trap music, but I spit it from the heart. I spit how I'm really living, you know what yeah. I mean. So if I didn't enhance myself and I ain't gonna say like some kind of got some kind of record deal, but if I didn't yeah. got a little bit of money to work and live in a better kind of environment, yeah. I'm gonna eventually get to talking about different kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a very fair answer. <laughs> the other thing I was gonna ask you is I saw that you uh in the running to have a chance to perform at BT. You know what I'm yeah. saying with the Hip Hop Awards. Uh, can you give us a little more about that and also the information how people can go vote for you? Yeah, man, uh, it's, it still ain't too late to, or really, excuse me, it is too late to go vote right now. Um, the, the end date was August 3rd, but right now I'm uh, I'm a participant in this contest for BT. It's a little old gig called Who Wants to Make It, you know. Um, yeah. It's for BT, it's the BT Hip Hop Awards in uh, September 2016, yeah. man. Uh, you could have went and voted, voted for me. Uh, right now we're all in the first round pool type deal and uh, whoever made it with the most points at the first round, uh, would have automatically uh, improved to the third round, you know, and uh, had to skip the whole second round, you know. But I, eventually, I didn't had I, I didn't had most points, so I'm gonna have to go to the second round. Uh, they'll update me sometime coming up. I think on August 15th, something like that, okay. with more details. So I'm gonna have, have a different kind of website for everybody to go vote to. Like I say, and man, say I'm uh, I'm just put like this. Uh, if I can win this and go go. To, yeah. to BT Hip Hop Awards, man, this ain't never been my dream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always thought sports was going to be my dream. If I can really go do this shit in sports, that's really a sign from, from the high power telling me, boy, do that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm going to really not just help my family, but I'm going to help my, bless my whole community. When I go from there, I'm talking about I plan on going to worldwide with it from there. You know what I mean? So uh, with that being said, again, um, go to the dot Who wants to make it? Uh, you see my name on the poll. Uh, vote for Killer Man. It's $2 to vote. Um, like I said, I, I think the new polls will be up August 15th. I'll uh, keep everybody updated on my social medias. All right, we're going to get back into another break with uh, Killer Man back at it. See you, honey. Chrissy, yo! Don't get your ass lynched 
when I move, you flinch. The hell is thirsty and flinch. Please excuse my French. I'm just pissed off. Cause niggas try to hold me back. When they call they say I'm taking out. I'm back at it like I never left. Yeah, I'm back at it like I never left. I'm back at it like I never left. I'm still ballin', I'm gonna ball to my last breath. I'm back at it like I never left. Yeah, and I'm gonna ball to my last breath. Yeah, and I'm gonna ball to my last breath. I'm right back at it like I never left. I put myself in the game, ain't nobody put me on. I really came up from the bottom, shooting dice, hitting licks. Went from crumbs to them bricks. I finesse a nigga quick and run it up with his bitch. I'm really dirty, nigga. How can I lose? Come take a walk in my shoes. You'll be lost with no clues. I'm still coaching them stools. Them niggas lost with no hope. They got them bins in the scopes. Still back in the dope. Them niggas mad cause they broke. Yo. This is a little killer, man. I'm just saying, how the fuck y'all niggas try to leave me out? I know a lot of people don't believe in me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't taking this sick shit serious. But I'm taking this shit serious. To the death of me, you feel me? Free black, man. Free collab. Free Duke, man. Free Hoover Joe. Real shit, man. Long live the day. Long live the juice, man. I'm back at it if you ain't know. Yeah. Woo. I'm back at it like I never left. Yeah, I'm back at it like I never left. Uh, I'm back at it like I never left. I'm still ballin', I'm gonna ball to my last breath. Ooh, I'm back at it like I never left. Yeah, and I'm gonna ball to my last breath. Yeah, and I'm gonna ball to my last breath. We back from the break. That right, was back, back at, at it. it. Killer man. Right, Coming off like that I never s- sick shit. Coming soon. Uh, Killer, uh, could you give these people an insight into this East America movement? Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, let me let me, let me me go and get this shit straight for the record. You know what I'm saying? East in America. I spell it with three Ks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody. What, what, why are you spelling it with three Ks, Killer? What, what three Ks stand for? Don't even have, I even had somebody tell me I shouldn't spell it that way because I'm representing the total opposite of what I'm standing for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just to set the record straight, East End America, first of all, his name is, is my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? The East End. That's across the railroad tracks back over here on, on the east side. You know what I mean? It's, it's East End, you know? So it, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of talent around here in East End America, man. And like I say, not too many people have ever pursued and made it in their dreams, you know, especially in music, man, ain't nobody ever made it in music, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, we got all this talent around here, I'm talking about every, we got few groups and, and such and such like that, you know what I mean, so it's like, a lot of people see this shit as competition, I don't see this shit as no competition, you know what I'm saying, I see this as like, shit, free, free money, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we got all this talent, why aren't we doing something with it? You know what I'm saying? We can all come together as one. That's when I'm about unity. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing for unity. So when I come with East End America with the three Ks, three Ks should automatically set something off in your head. Like, okay, there's a catch with this. We doing something with it. You know what I'm saying? And around Silver Springs, man, if you really understand Silver Springs, like this is a very, very racist town. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hate to say it, but I have white friends. You know what I'm saying? I have a, Excuse me, I'm, I have a Caucasian. I have Caucasian friends. I have a Caucasian mixed daughter. You know what I'm saying? I love down to earth, but this is a very racist, racist town. You know what I mean? So around here, it, it's good people and it's very bad people. You know what I'm saying? Town. So this reliving the past history from around here, man. There's lots of old energy that still floats around here. That shit doesn't float around here. You know, so uh, we can kill all that. So when I say East in America, yes, I do stand for East in America over here in my neighborhood. But I mean for Silver Springs is one, man. We can just. Stop all this hatredism, uh, hatred and, and racism, bullshit, you know what I'm saying, and really succeed in such things, you know, we could really do something, man. I got a prime example. I got my boy right here with me, you know what I'm saying, Vic. Man, we won a state. 
That's a big ass accomplishment, eh, man. We ain't never won state around yeah, here. You know what I'm saying? First in the history. First time in history. You know what I'm saying? We won state, man. My, it's top, man. Hey, man, we won state. Cause dude, right here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that's the only time I can ever think about every coach, every, every religion. I mean, every, every yeah, every religion, every race, everything getting together. Everybody was together. That's yo. the only time I can ever think about Silver Springs being together. Besides, around what the early nineties, uh, ninety six, back when my aunt, aunt, uh, question them was back playing ball and had it rocking and shit like that, and had football games. You know what I'm saying, but besides that, a Friday night, it's like ain't nobody coming together around here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to do nothing with with the other, uh, with each other. You know, so I'm really yeah. that's what they're really standing for. You know what I'm saying? Coming together on some shit. You know, hey, that was greatness, man. Definitely raised the bar for everything. So, yeah. uh, with the East End America, uh, I saw you had some merchandise. Is it a way people can get a contact to, with you to get? Some uh, merchandise with the East End America on it. Yeah, man. Um, I had tried doing a little clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, right now I'm just really entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm young. I'm young and young in my prime. I'm 23 years old. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really trying to settle for life at all. It's just a lot of people, like I say, around here and other places. I'm sure too that settle for life. That choose to go work factories and, and fast food. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I don't see myself doing such things, yeah. you know, right now. So I'm just really trying to find which route I'm going to take and be successful with it and keep on entrepreneuring and setting up my kids' kids' careers and futures and shit yeah. like that, you know what I mean? Ain't so, nothing wrong with it. That's so, being a great example, bro. So with that being said, um, I had only made a, a few T-shirts, you know, um, just trying it out, you know. Uh, right now I got on a uh, little grody shirt, you know what I'm saying? It's okay, you hate on me. You know, okay. so I, I support everybody, you know, yeah. so... Um, I'm in the process, you know what I'm saying? I, I still be in the process, again, with, with the clothing business. That's yeah. a long process itself, you know what I'm saying? Having yeah. search and having them on display and keep having them, you know what I'm saying? Like, being consistent with it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The hats and shit like that. So, right now, you know what I'm saying? Me, me and the gang, you know what I'm saying? We working on trying to come together with some shit, you know what I'm saying? Having some more Eastern American shirts, 600 shirts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got a little shit called, I go by Positive Eyes, man. You can catch me yeah. on Facebook all the time, trying to send positive energy through the book, you know what I'm saying? Some PVO shirts, yeah, PVO shirts, you know what I'm saying? Positive vibes only, you know what I'm saying? No negative vibes, shirts and hats and shit like that coming. So, yeah, man, just be on the lookout, you know what I'm saying? I say, I, ain't, I can't even, you know, we can't rush things. So, shit, I say, you know, coming up in the near future, be on the lookout for some East End America, more merchandise, you know. Okay, man, and that all sound good, man. I commend you, and uh, my advice is to keep pushing. And uh, we're going to get out of here with the last break. Uh, it's killer what I came for. What I came from, man. See, honey. <laughs> It's understanding, understanding is power, knowledge is power, yeah. You gotta understand what I came from to know I'm gone, yeah. You gotta understand what I came from to know I'm gone, yeah. I done been broke before, I ain't going broke no more. I done been broke before, I can't be broke no more. Get my shit together Young nigga member slanging Hustling the hard and in the weather Yeah, we next up The streets will leave you stressed up Shooting bullets from their neck up Going hard, I gotta get it Gotta give my kids the best love Remember them times My pockets was empty, then have a dime The devil be trying to control my mind But I just keep got a hope alive Can't go back trapping and selling dime Listen to this, is gonna blow your mind Cause you niggas is clueless without a mind You niggas ain't stuck or y'all steady lie Used to stuff from the store, used to get us by And I'm grinding every day a nigga Trying to get a plate These niggas bluffers They ain't hustlers They be frontin' When they say they bought they cake Niggas lying to your face I keep it real These niggas fake They claim they shooters But they ain't Never seen a nigga Laying down Bleeding out his face Why siblings Walk around hurting Crying every day They ain't seen bullets Flushing nigga Send him to his grave You better pray The streets will leave your slump Ain't nobody you safe understand What I came from To know I'm gone Used to eat reduced lunch, buy my own, fuck your front. I'm migrated with the bunch, don't I die? 
It might be a tragedy I know they wanna bury me You know I keep a strategy Choice like a battery Why these people after me? I can hear them screaming Talking about them demons And you don't see what I see And you can't feel what I feel Spirits, yeah, that shit real You ain't lived how I live Cut it, spiritually awoken Murder my emotions My people, we the chosen Killer, I'm a spokesman Spokesman for the chosen The king, I have spoken We are outspoken Ammunition loaded They cannot control it Never have I folded That book, they rewrote it The motherfucking stole it My nigga railroaded well Locked down, been remoted That shit so corroded It's evil and they know it You gotta understand what I came from To know where I'm going My life crazy, you don't wanna live how I live Where I'm from is broad, they shoot out Grown niggas sending kills to kill kids What you know about not having lights for a year? Mama did it by herself, raising two bulls And never switched gears What you know about being kicked out of houses? No income coming in Gave a nigga no choice but to start robbing You and yours seeing houses start plotting Got the mind of Batman Cause I swear all we think about is robbing I swear you niggas haven't been through what I've been through You niggas is fool fool Straight snitches give it one time blues too Charlie and Cam and Molly I thank you And Chef can't forget you My life been cold since I was a little dude You gotta understand what I came from To know where I'm so going yeah, so many bitch, you gotta understand what I came no, from To so know where I'm going, going down, Yeah, living my life now I done been broke before I ain't I'm going broke no more now. I done been broke before I can't I'm be broke no more now. You gotta understand what Yeah, man, Kelly Texas in the building, man. Shout out to Killer Man, man. He's still in six shit, man. You already know, man, how we rockin'. Shit been in that system made a nigga get harder, man, you know what I'm saying? Being hungry made a nigga grind harder, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 We going to the top with this one, man. Whoa. Whoa.